Buenas noches, comunidad. Buenas noches, Pedro. <laughs> Welcome to our regular Tuesday business meeting. Mm -hmm. um, while we're each eating our 124th of a chicken. And half an egg. And half an egg. <laughs> Let's, um, we'll go ahead and get started with uh, the official business. I think we've come to the point uh, in our business meeting where we're going to do uh, puntos de luz. So um, let's see, who would like to start? I got a point of light. I'd like to give Dan a point of light for um, the first time he arrived to morning prayer in the volunteer house. It was. Uh, the day after we arrived in uh, the fall of 2008, and um, you could tell that Dan was just very comfortable from the first day. Uh, so uh, every morning, there's morning prayer with the whole community at 6 o'clock a.m., and uh, at the volunteer house at 5.50 in the morning, we'd gather for just a, a quick, maybe 30-second morning prayer, um, kind of joining each other by the hands uh, before we finished getting ready and headed over to the church. So, so Dan, on his first morning, uh, you know, got up on time, made it to uh, volunteer house morning prayer, uh, but he forgot to put on any pants or a shirt. Um, so there's a lot of uh, white skin and uh, covered up from his boxers. It was um, not the most prayerful experience I had in <laughs> our two and a half years, um, but here's to you, Dan. I'll give another point of light. Dan, this is to you for uh, your cooking skills at the Finca. I wasn't around for the veggie trap pasta incident, but it has lived on in infamy. And even when I started at the Finca, I heard about this very special pasta dish. So Dan made a, uh, a pasta dish one day that um, a can of, uh, or a bottle of spice got pretty much dumped all into and it was lovingly named the veggie trap pasta. The veggie trap was sort of an apparatus we had at the Finca that would catch the scraps of uh, food so they didn't go out into the water. And uh, it smelled pretty terrible. Cleaning it was kind of the least favorite job. So Dan, uh, I have to say, miss a lot of things about you. Don't miss those cooking skills. Happy birthday. My favorite part of the veggie trap pasta was naturally we had many days of leftovers. <laughs> And we all just tried to be like such sports and not waste the food. And I remember uh, we would just like pour glasses of water over it and made it into a soup to try and dilute the strong adobo spice flavor. It didn't work, but, um, you know, we, we, we went through it uh, for you, Dan. And, and I have one more point of light for Dan. Uh, it's um, from the, the teacher retreat that, uh, that was in Tacoa. Um, so Dan was driving the Land Cruiser and uh, there was a traffic stop in the town of Tacoa and a female police officer directing, uh, directing traffic there in the, in the town. Um, and Dan was driving and, you know, either had the window rolled all the way down or half down and um, suffice to say it was a sight that, uh, that this police officer had never seen before. So um, what did she do? She, uh, she stares right at Dan and says, Oy, qué lindo gringuito con los ojos claritos. <laughs> and then uh, waits for the traffic to clear. Waves Dan forward and says, Dale, corazón, dale. And the translation of that is, What a beautiful little gringo with the clear, beautiful little eyes. <laughs> and then after she waved him through, Go on ahead, heart. Go on ahead. <laughs> so happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, little heart. We miss you across we love the you. miles. <laughs> Have a great 30th. Bye.